Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. The the most important uh, thing when you're creating is to be in the right structure. Uh, and the, 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 the truth is, is to get into the, the right structure, there's one thing, uh, that you need to, uh, you need to do. And that's what I'm going to be talking, uh, about today. That's what I'm going to be talking about, uh, today. So when you, when you ask yourself, okay, out of everything, what is it that, that must be that most important piece? Well, it's, it's actually something that's, that's, uh, very easy to talk about, Yet it's uh, it's difficult to to do. So last last week I had a really interesting experience. Uh, I've started working out a, a lot more at the gym and and uh, uh, set some big goals about you know increasing strength and things. And, and anyway, uh, I did a really full on session of one uh, one rep max, um, you know, uh, bench press and squat and, and these sort of movements. And that was last uh, Tuesday, uh, woke up Wednesday and uh, uh, my, my left knee was just, it had this sharp pain in it. Like I could, so I, I canceled tennis. I didn't have, didn't play tennis all last week, played, played this week. And uh, I was in, I had this sharp pain and I was sort of hobbling around and, you know, I thought, oh, well, you know, I've just, I've just worked out that, that really hard and, you know, it'll go away. So I did, you know, I didn't do anything. And, uh, waited a couple of days, but this pain was still there. So, you know, canceled tennis again. And, and then it was Saturday. And, and for, for a strange reason, there, there I am. And I had a real human experience. Who, who has, who has uh, some, some really, really strange human experience? You forget that you're super conscious. So there I am on Saturday and I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm texting uh, my massage guy, Greg. Greg might be on here. So, hey, Gregor, good win last night in the origin. And, uh, and so there I am on Saturday, I'm texting, uh, texting Greg saying, I really need a massage, man. I've, you know, my, my leg, it's in so much, so much pain. I need to, need to get this sorted. And, uh, and, and so I'm texting him and I'm, I'm there and I'm, you know, I'm watching, watching the NBA finals and, and, you know, watching, uh, I think I was watching like LeBron, <laughs> um, have a meltdown and, and I was watching that and, and I go, what are you doing, Craig? Like, what are you doing? And I, I had this moment where I'm like, you, you know how to shift this. You know, what, what are you doing? It, it was so strange. You, you know, so I was like, do, like, what, you know exactly what to do to do this. And I was like, oh, why am I sitting here with pain? Like, what's going on? Like, there I am. I was like, what, is, what am I doing this for? And I'm like, all right, well, I better, I better go do the, the process. And so what I did, I'm going to explain to you now, but, but the end result is the next day, woke up, no pain, knees working fine, playing tennis, lifting weights, everything's, everything's fine. After five days of hobbling around in this, this crazy pain. And you guys have all seen that I snapped my, my leg. You've seen that where, you know, I, I broke my thigh bone. And so, so that leg's still got some challenges. So, so I go, okay, cool. I, well, I need to obviously create this. And this is uh, the, the shift that I made in, in, in a few hours to be able to completely restructure so that I was able to move and function again is what I'm going to explain today. So it's going to be, it's going to be a really, really powerful session. And, and, I, and I realized, you know, sometimes even though you know the work, even though it's there, doing it is, is sometimes we forget because we're so busy being human. We're so busy um, being self-conscious. So I want to let you all know, I'm giving you permission right now. It's okay you know, it's okay to forget that you know how to do this work or that, you know, you've been in here a year, you know how to shift it. It's okay to forget. So, so, he, so here's the process. And you guys know the five, the five steps, hey? Like, you, you know the five steps. You're, you're in this work. You get it. We do the five steps all the time, you know. Choose what you want. Know how you feel. Um, where are you now? What's in the way? Remove it. Take, take, um, take the right action, right? And, and, and so you guys, you guys know the system, you know the steps, but here's the, the challenge. Here's the challenge. The most, uh, the, the, the biggest thing you must do is you must be in the correct structure. The problem is, is how do you go get into the correct structure without being in reaction to the pain, painful leg? 
And this is a very interesting point. How do I then go get into a creative structure without it being in reaction? How do you go create abundance when the only reason you want that money is because you know you don't have enough in your bank account? How do you then do it? Because the problem is there. How do, how do you get out of the problem orientation when the problem orientation is throbbing with pain? And every time you step on it, you're thinking to yourself, I reckon I've broken something. I reckon I've got a stress fracture. What is going on here? Why after five days can I still not walk on this? All I did was lift weights. What the heck has gone wrong? And, and so, so how do you do it? So that's the question. And it, and it was profound because I, I know how to do this work and I know and I'm like, right, have I explained this in enough detail? Have I explained this in enough detail? And I was like, well, maybe not. So, you know, I knew I said, well, right, I'm going to go shift this and then I'm going to use it as a case study. And on Thursday, I'll share it with the masterclass. So, so the, the thing that you have to do and what we're going to cover today is how to let go of the problem and become the void. How to completely let go of the problem. See, in order to get into a creative structure, you must not be trying to solve anything. You see, in order to be in a creative structure, you must not be in the structure with any other intent than the creation. So there is work that might need to be done for you in your structures to allow yourself to not be focusing or acknowledging the problem at all. So I went up and I have this uh, this this Tesla chamber that's created out of, uh, you know, the, the Tesla pen pendants. And so, so I have this, this meditation um, uh, place. And, and I go up there and I spend the first uh, 30 minutes and I spent 30 minutes just becoming the void, just sitting in meditation, just letting go, becoming completely 100% happy at peace no, pro no, nothing. Uh, grateful for the, the the a body that gives me pain. Grateful, just so so happy with it. Completely nothing. No body, no self, no place. Just just let myself into the void. Just just complete. And and it took me quite a while because the pain was it was throbbing. You know, so it was it was something that my unconscious brain couldn't stop thinking about. Does that make sense? It couldn't, it couldn't stop thinking about it. And so, so there I am. And so I'm with, you know, close eyes and meditating, going into innocence, using my anchor, going there. And I get there and I'm like, oh gosh, I so love this. I, you know, I love this. I haven't done long meditation in so long. And I was like, oh, I love this. I'm kind of just loving the moment. And part of it is, is loving that present moment so much that that it's bigger or better or more abundant and more than anything. So, you know, I'm basically making love to the moment. I'm like, ah, oh, this is so great. And, and then I'm like, oh, wow, cool. What was it that I wanted to create? And then I was like, that's it. I was like, that's it. I want to create this amazing, strong, healthy body. And, and there's no reason to create it at this point, because at this point I'd become uh, uh, not a body, not a self. So I'm choosing it. I do the process. I step in, I choose it. I accept it. And I love on that moment. And I go, that's it. I then go, well, what's it like now? And I'm like, well, now, you know, I've kind of got this dysfunctional thing. So I start doing the work and I'm like, hey, super conscious, remember me? You know, like, hi, you know, and I'm doing the muscle test and doing the same process I do with, with all of, all of you. And then I get this, this jolt, like a pop, and my whole leg snaps forward. I get this whole jolt right up my back. I'm like, wow, that was interesting. And I'm sitting there and I'm in there and I just get the obvious action was I just needed to go for a run. And I was like, that's crazy. I mean, so I get up out of my chair, I go for a run. And I'm like, got chills as I'm telling you this. I'm going for this run going, what the? how does this stuff still work? You know, how does this work? And I was just, I was so, uh, I was just so blown away and amazed at, you know, it's still, it's still, it's still just so 
unbelievable miraculous to my self-conscious limited perspective that you can fundamentally let go and become nothing and recreate because you're you're at the basis of what you are is a creative energy made up of photons and it was it was it was it was amazing you know it was it was so cool so i was so anyway i was so grateful for the experience i was like oh that's great and so anyway the next day um you know greg massage he comes around and he's uh you know, he, he's going, Chris, your whole body, and he massages me every single uh, week. He says, your whole body's changed. He's going, all of these muscles that were tight, the whole thing's changed. He's like, none of this is the same anymore. And he's like, why, why haven't you been doing this? And I was like, oh, I guess I needed a, I guess I needed to create a wake up call uh, to, to remember just how powerful I am. And just how powerful you guys are. And I was like, wow, well, I can't wait for my recode session this week. <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait for it. And, and so, so here, here's the takeaways. Number one, it's okay that you 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 had you're being you have human moments and that you, you know, you get fixated on something that's not right. Or you, you know, you see the world as a we see something that you want to shift. So, so yeah, that's our self conscious is so 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 focused on the good and the bad. Like our self conscious perspective goes, that's good, that's bad, pain bad, um, no pain good. You know, no money bad, lots of money good. It, it, it's it's in that, it's it's in that world. So it's okay, you know, and and there's nothing wrong with that. We we like we like our self conscious. The second thing to take away is, all right, that's okay, is that when you create, you, you must come from a place of the wizard's gate. You must, you must enter the wizard's gate and you must live from the wizard's gate. And the, and the wizard's gate, it's a beautiful metaphor that, um, that I made up. Like it's not, it's, you won't find it. I like it because it's a metaphor of opening into a place where you can become magic which is when you are no longer in reaction. You are no longer in reaction. If you are in a reactive place, you're simply going to be bound by whatever you're reacting to. Now, there's, there's multiple different ways you can be in reaction. You can actually be in reaction from something you, that, that has been successful and something that's been unsuccessful. Here's an example. Someone uh, uh, creates some extra wealth. And so because they have that, now they're going to be, now they're going to do something different. You see, they're only reacting because of the circumstance. It's like, well, now I'm going to go do this. It's like, well, okay, that's great. Were you doing that before? You know, so they're in, they're actually in a reaction to, to, to something. Uh, but the, the most common way that we're in reaction is when there is something we don't want to happen that is happening. There's a circumstance or a condition that, that we, we prefer we didn't have. And, and the more that you lock into that you don't like that or that you don't want that or it's not how you want it to be, the more that you lock into that, the more it owns you. The more you give the power to it. If you try to create out of reaction, all the energy is birthed from a place of, of not wanting something. That's where the energy, that is the seed of what is growing. So if you don't want it and you're so so pissed off or upset about something, that lives in whatever you're creating. You see? And it will it will never leave. All you'll do is be escaping it, but it will still be there. Example: someone doesn't have enough money and they hate it or they lose money and it's negative and it's bad. So they don't want it. That that that's bad. So they go create wealth, but they never enjoy it because there's this fear 
of how bad it would be to lose it. The fear stays with them. Someone has a really bad breakup and has to be single. They never want to be single. They get in a relationship. The fear of, be, of not being able to be happy and being um, by themselves rattles along with them, you see. They have a pain on their body and they only do health because of the pain. They only want to create health because of the pain, you see. That, that's, that's it. What rattles along with them is this idea that their body is against them, you see, that their body's against them. Think about that for a second. My body's against, this is bad. I must fix this. My body's against me. That stays with them. What do they keep on finding in their life? A body that's against them. True. It sticks. It sticks. But they think that by trying to avoid it, they think that that is the only way to be and that they must, they must have things they don't want in order to define what they do want. Yet all they do is become quantumly entangled in that, meaning there's no, there's no separation. They live in a weird idea that just because they, they, they want that, just because they would like this, it means they also don't want this, which is a weird black and black and white um, uh, lie, <laughs> you know. I, th I, I think it is probably the hardest aspect of creating is to is to give up the idea that there's that I, there's something has to be wrong in order to create or something missing to create or something incomplete i think it's the hardest thing is that to give that idea up that that's even necessary or needed and and what's and what's coupled with that is behind this idea that that this is bad and it's against me and I need to fix it is a denial that you created it. A denial that you created. See, oh, this is so terrible and so bad, so I need this. Denies the fact that, that you are the powerful creator of that. You see. And, and so we, we, be, we get birthed into this world that focuses us, uh, focuses us on problems, on living for the future, on fixing, on solving, on, uh, on, on everything but telling you you are the creative energy and that when you put your focus you create and your focus creates and we never get taught how to take our focus off the physical off what is here bring it back to nothingness first with no problem nothing to solve nothing could be better and the and to that that's that magnetic moment that's that uh that's that's the wizard's gate. That's what's more abundant than anything else. There's there's people who say, but Chris, how can you say uh, the now is better than the future? Like I'm disabled, or I've got this back pain, or I've got this 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 no money thing that I've created, or I've got this heartbreak. How could you say you you like screw you, Mister Chris Duncan? It's it, the future will be better. It's, it, it, but the truth is is there's, there's nothing better than having a moment, a present moment of human existence. There's nothing better than that moment. You only get given so many of these absolutely precious things. There's nothing better than the one you have, you know? And if you're not using the one you have, why are you so worried about getting another one, you know? If you're not using the moment you've been given, if you're not experiencing that and using the thing, thing you've got now, then why are you so focused on getting more of these things? As it's, it's such a big thing is the most important thing in creating is, is structure. And the most important part of structure is to be completely focused on what you're creating with not with, without solving something. 
And that's why I think everyone should get a coach, you know? One of the, one of the easiest things, and, and that's why we're going to do it today, is one of the easiest things is to work with a coach who doesn't know your problem, who doesn't know what's wrong. See, they're just as powerful as you. Every single person on this call and me, we're just as powerful as each other. It, it's, it's true, hey? We're all just, just as powerful. Therefore, if you've got a person that, that talks to you about what you're creating and lines you up with that, even if you have got some aspect of you still focused on a problem, there's some other powerful force holding you to a, to a creation because it was difficult with a throbbing need to let go of that. That was difficult. Like I, I really, I had to sit there, I had to meditate, I had to let go, I had to let go, I had to let go, get into the field, let go, get into the field, get into the void, let go, experience the moment, just loving the moment, focus on the moment, getting into it, into it, loving it. And so I was like, man, I love this so much. What am I sitting here for again? Oh, I want to create that strong, healthy body. And then boom, that's when it shifted. That's when it shifted. So what stops you letting go of the idea that there is something to fix in your current reality? What stops you letting go of the idea that the future is somehow better than the present. What lets, what stops you just letting go of all of those belief systems that say it will be better when? What stops you from truly deciding that You don't have a problem to solve. That you don't have a future that's better than the now. That there's nothing that you can't have right now. What truly stops you? And, and the answer is many, many things. I mean, you might say, well, it's habit. It's a, it's a lifelong process. It's all those things. But, but it's also, you just haven't decided. There's, a, still a, there's still a niggling little belief back there somewhere that says, yeah, I hear what, the, what he's saying. Uh, so do it to me so I can fix this bloody problem. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, this has, now do it to me, Duncan, because I got a current reality that needs fixing. <laughs> yeah. It's, fun. it's pretty It's pretty funny, isn't it? We said that, yeah, this is right. This is right. This is right. Yes. You need to do that to my money situation because it ain't right. <laughs> so can you, can you wizard me up some wizard's gate? I mean, I've been here 30 minutes. Come on. Can you sprinkle some of that non-problem um, uh, over my problems? <laughs> oh, but I won't call them problems. I'll call them desires. Hmm. We're funny, aren't we? We are funny. What a, what a fun existence it is uh, uh, to acknowledge that. And, and this is the work, you know. This is the work, isn't it? And that, that is the work. The work is to, to, to truly acknowledge yourself as a creative essence that is creating it all oh, and co-creating with others. And, uh, and knowing that there's no problem to solve because you created this moment, you created this and it's, and you've got a, you've got everything there. And, and as soon as you're allowed to know that there's no problem 
it, it will spark a different um a different a different orientation it will spark a different orientation because when there's no problem it can be quite confusing for a while when there's no problem well if there's no problem then what am i going to create can't it be quite confusing well chris if there's nothing that i need to solve and that I can be content and happy exactly how it is now. Well, what do I create? And there lies the big question. I think it's probably the hardest question, which is, what would I love to create just because I love it? Not because it will make someone else happy, even if that is a, a, something that does happen. Not, not because I'm supposed to or should do or that others will think I'm amazing or that that's what the world's needed. But what will I just do because I simply love it? It's a tough, it's a tough question. And it, but it, but it is, it is the next level of question. You know, the, the, the old level of question is, well, how do I solve all these problems? And we live a lie. We live a life that says, if I solve that, then I can be happy. And we flip it. Then we say, I can be happy because I choose. I can be more abundant because I choose. I can be it already. And then your brain goes, well, if you've got it all, then what are we doing? And, and, and that's when you you shift and you shift into that that this is this is a play this is a game this is a this is a this is an experience it's not an obligation or it's not a, it's not um you know it, it's here to experience and create and, and you just get to choose okay you get to choose and you get to be you get to get out of that low you know that low level thinking you know and and this is what what the alchemist said when you need to rise above or you know, they were the first to to talk about the uh, metaphorically uh, shifting from, um, you know, lead to gold, which is basically a metaphor of changing your vibration or becoming above it. And this, this, it's such a term that is talked about, raise your vibration, you know. Yeah, but what happens is you raise your vibration when you are powerful and you have it all now. True. And then, then you get to enjoy it. Then you get to then you get to then you get to enjoy whatever it is you create, but but not without having to go through this shift, hey, not without having to go through through this shift. So I want to lead you on a fun process today of uh, of creation, uh, of creating something that you haven't manifest yet. Uh, but first, uh, we will. Uh, yeah, Valerie's typed in um, something really interesting and, and said, uh, uh, love you, Chris. Well, I love you back. Um, I love when you talk about vibrations. And Valerie said, we attract the vibrations that we are. And this is a, this is a very interesting. V vibration uh, is, is all around us. And, and we are at a certain vibration. And, and there is a certain uh, frequency to that vibration. Everything's vibration. And it's not necessarily accurate to say that we attract the vibrations. What's more accurate is that we need to become in phase with, in phase, so that we are in phase, so that if, if it's going like this, we're in the exact same phase with, uh, that which we want so we're at the same vibration with it it's already there so we don't necessarily like pull it in we just become in sync with it true is that true true valerie because because i think that you know and i'm going to talk about in the creator course in september uh i am going to talk about uh chaos theory and and how things do come in and we are going to be talking about the the you know the soul of the world and and, the, and and how there are you can create an attractor in the field 
Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious. Thank you.